I want to go over the drafting and drawing table that you would need for this class. Um, there are four items. Um, there are four items that you would need to put together this drawing and drafting table. Number one is the drawing and drafting table. I recommend a 30 by 42 inch wide table. Number two, you need a parallel straight edge. Number three, you need a vinyl cover for the board. Number four, you need double-sided tape. I've listed links below to how to assemble this table with the parallel rule. Please take a look at those videos. I just wanna go through some very big general items that you would need and the reason why you need it. Again, make sure that when you're buying a table and when you're buying the parallel rule, the length is the same. I repeat that, make sure that the table length and the parallel rule length are the same. Table length and parallel rule length are the same. So find out the table size first. If you don't have the room for a dedicated table, you can get a board. A 30 by 42 inch board is fine. The straight edge that you will need to buy, make sure that again, it is the same length as the table, whether it is a 42, which I recommend, or a 48, if you decide to go something bigger. There are two brands that I recommend, Mayline and Alvin. They're the ones that actually has the wire cable. Get the ones with the wire cable. Some of the boards actually comes already with a parallel rule. I would not recommend those. They're not the ones with the cable. So you have to buy them separately. Mayline is definitely more expensive than Alvin, but they're both almost equal in quality. Mayline, I would definitely say is slightly smoother in operation. So it's perhaps easier to use. The reason why you should get a parallel rule attached to your table rather than a T-square. It is simply more efficient to draw a straight line and the lines that you draw will always be straight. Finally, the vinyl cover. Make sure that when you buy the vinyl cover, you unroll it and let it sit out for at least 24 hours. You want the vinyl cover to lose its memory before you attach to the board itself. In the past, some students didn't put the vinyl cover and some of the things that they would report back to me is that their leads would break and the line quality on paper, it's just not the same. The overall experience of drafting with the vinyl cover is so much better. So I highly recommend putting the vinyl cover on your board, please not to skip it. So again, I will have all of these links down below. Please check them out and get this board ready as soon as possible for this class.